Nicholas Sparks has sold more than 90 million books in more than 45 languages. And then there's the movies that have been made out of his love stories. His latest novel, The Best of Me, is already on its way to the big screen, and Nicholas Sparks joins us live now. Great to have you with us, Nicholas. Thanks for having Welcome. me. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. It, it is incredible, your body of work. So extensive, and when you sit down, the question is, do you think about it? I mean, do you think, can I see this on the big screen? How is this going to play out when you put characters in front of it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I mean, okay. let's be honest, because yeah. I do end up selling a lot, especially with this this latest one. You know, uh, the the best of me, for instance. I actually ended up selling that in on a pitch. I hadn't mm. written a word of the novel yet. I just kind of... Is that scary when you haven't yes, written it and you're like, oh, here's a great idea, but yeah, I haven't written it yet. Exactly. It was because then all of a sudden I feel this extra weight of really trying to come up with a with a great story, which it, the novel ended up becoming the best of me. But I just kind of had this vague idea and I kind of laid it out and they said, oh, okay, we'll take it. And I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> this is just terrific news. Let then, me get to work. Yeah, let me quick get to work and make sure that it all works out. But yeah, you do want to think about the film because one of the things I try to do is, even though love is a very, you know, everyone's written about, it's been written about forever, it seems like, it's, you want to be very original. You don't want to do something that has been done in a film. Like, mm -hmm. for instance, I would never do a love story set on the Titanic because mm -hmm. that was a big film. And so you want to strive for originality. So you think of what you want to do, which might make a good film, and what films that you don't want to say, hey, he just copied that. And you've said no to certain ideas before because you just, listen, that's, that's, that's either been done before. Oh, absolutely. It doesn't, doesn't fly. Yeah, I, look, I mean, I'll cut 10,000 ideas, 9,999 no's, and a lot of them are for just that reason because you do want to be original and interesting and, and universal all at the same time. Tell me about The Best of Me. The Best of Me, it is, it's a good story. I like it. It's a reunion story. It's about a couple that falls in love in high school. Of course, they're from different sides of the track, and he's actually not just like Noah in, and, and Allie in The Notebook. He's not just poor, but, I mean, literally, he's from a family of criminals, but he's different. Well, it doesn't work out in high school, but 25 years, they're reunited at the funeral of an old friend, and 25 years is a long time. You know, she's now married, she's got three kids, but she's unhappily married. Meanwhile, he has never gotten over her, and you're kind of at that that what if stage of life. And so, well, let's throw this into the pot and see what happens. Something that probably a lot of people can relate to. That was the hope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Notebook is going to Broadway now. Yes. What is it like to your baby is your book, and you write this thing, you have total control over it. What's it like to then see someone else take a little control, whether it's in the movies or on Broadway, and see it then perform live? Yeah, you know, and it's interesting to. To, to be very frank, you know, we're still a, a, a time out. You know, we're in the development of this process. But the best way that I've always found, and it's what I've done in Hollywood, or whether it's working with the publishers I've, that I've worked with for a long time, it's to work with people that you, you really trust, who understand what it's about, and they want to take that and then mold it into something new. And so, obviously, The Notebook is going to be some sort of musical, and, and that it's a lot of fun to be uh, getting involved in that process, too. Who do you want to play the lead roles in the... Uh in the musical. Gosh, I don't know. Someone who can sing? You've thought about it, though, haven't <laughs> no, you? No, we're not even to that stage. You know, actually, the next stage, the next thing we're casting would be for Safe Haven, which is a film that starts mm -hmm. in March, of course, and uh, and then we'll turn the, my attention to the next cast, which would probably be The Best of Me, and then The Notebook musical. What movie do you like the best? Boy, that's a tough question. You know, I think that uh, uh, I've been very fortunate in that all of them have I, I like them all for very different reasons. You know, the, the message in a bottle was the first one. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I get, I remember I was, for this, it was the weirdest experience. I'm getting ready to head to Christmas Eve Mass, and uh, the phone rings, and I answer it. He says, Nicholas Sparks, I see it. He goes, hey, this is Kevin Costner, which is a very <laughs> odd experience when you're awesome. 30 Hi. years old, hey, and you're like, hey, Kev, right? You, yeah. know, I, you know, at that point in time. So you have different wonderful memories with each, and... Uh, you talked that you kind of think topically, that you're looking at a love story, but you're thinking what hasn't been done yet. Is there a type of love story or an area type of context that you would love to set your next story in? Yes, and that's what I'm working on right now, you know, and it's a it's really a six-step process that I go through to come up with that th those kinds of stories, but... Uh, I, I am, and I never, of course, say anything about what I'm working you're on. You're not going to tell us what you're working no, on the, break, the, the breaking news. I could tell you that the lucky one's coming out in April, and it's fabulous. I've seen that film. It's just awesome. I could say that, but I'll, I'm a man of ideas. I can't just give them out. 
All right. Because someone might come Carefully along and steal them. Yes, them. exactly. Is there a concern about that? Uh, there's a concern about the ideas because uh, good ideas are very easy, but ideas that are, are, are big and broad enough to be a good uh, novel and film are actually kind of hard to come up with. All right. Nicholas Sparks, thanks for Great coming stuff. by, sir. Happy holidays thank to you. you. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you again soon.